All right, guys. Well, we are going to go visit my friend Steve-O, homemade genius on location today. Um, I am going over to my buddy Steve's house. He's agreed to help me out with a follow-up video. Uh, we're doing the field test on the Boker Plus knife. Um, if you guys recall, I did a review and unboxing of that recently. You did catch that video, didn't you? So, I decided the best thing for me to do is take this over to my buddy Steve's house. Let him give me a objective point of view. I figured more than one person taking a look at the knife and putting it through its paces is going to be better than just having my opinion. Because, hey, who the hell am I, right? Um, got a few interesting things lined up for it. I'm going to tell you right now up front regarding the test. Um, I saw... Um, there's a buddy of mine in Austria, his name is Sepp, he has a YouTube channel, um, and I'll put a link to that below. Uh, him and uh, Survival Mike, he's gonna, uh, I'll put his link below. They ran their paces through uh, a slew of knives and did a bunch of tests on them, and they came up with what I, I thought was a very um, unique and effective way of measuring the effectiveness of the knives. Now, <clears throat> they had everything from your small Mora all the way to... Uh, uh, machetes. I do want to give credit um, to the guys in Austria for, for really coming up with this uh, foundation for measuring knife performance, measuring cutting blade performance. I did take some liberties with what they did. I'm using the the, the core of their idea is, is really uh, the, the rating system that they use. That That's what I stole from them. Um, and by giving them credit, I'm going to remove the word stole and just simply tell you this is what I'm borrowing from them. I added some categories to it. Uh, I kind of finagled the rating system a little bit better. Um, their rating system I think was a straight 1 through 10 of you know effectiveness and uh, I have a 1 through 10 rating scale as well but I'm going to take it from a bit of a different perspective. Um, in this instance with the knife that I'm measuring today the Boker Plus, that is a, uh, it's kind of a, falls under like a bushcraft knife. It's a, it's a general all-purpose kind of knife. The categories in the test are going to be uh, used to find out how well they, it, this knife performs in each category. However, some of the categories, most of the categories, actually have a dedicated tool specific for that task. Meaning, let's say, uh, let's say we're talking about uh, chopping. Okay, I want to know if this knife is going to be able to chop through small branches effectively. You and I both know that an axe is the best tool for chopping. So what I'm doing is comparing this performance to the axe. And while some of you may be saying that's no comparison, it's not fair, it is. Because what I'm doing is I'm going under the assumption that if I took this knife with me, could I reasonably and effectively make the decision to lighten my load and not carry an axe. Essentially, at the end of this, I would be able to take the results from this test, look at it, and say, you know, I'm going camping and I'm taking my boker. It doesn't do good chopping, so I better go ahead and bring an axe with me. Or, it's effectively, surprisingly effective for, come on lady, what are you doing here? This is the interstate. Sorry about that. Or you may say this this uh, this this knife does a superb job in, in light chopping. I, this is all I'm going to need with me when I want to create a small fire if I'm going on a day hike. That's kind of the position I'm taking. Um, essentially, by rating it by my rating of one through ten, if I'm rating it a one, it's completely useless. It means it just it, there's no way this knife is going to be able to perform the task at hand at all. Don't even consider it. If I rate it a 5, that means exactly that. It is an average, it is a reasonable substitute for the task at hand. 5 is a very good rating. Anything above a 5, we're getting into the exceeds expectation categories. Because a bushcraft knife, at least in my opinion, is a good, solid, general, all-purpose knife that's going to handle, or should be capable of handling, most tasks that's, that are going to get thrown at it. Um, that's just, like I said, that, that's my two cents worth as it comes to uh, a bushcraft knife. Um, so, if this rate comes out at an average of five, I'm going to call it a great knife. Thumbs up, take it, buy it. Good for the money, good for everything. Let's do this.
Good. I'm lost. Bear eats. How do we get out of here? <laughs> right here? Yep. So this yeah. is where you're gonna drink your own pee? I uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Filtering through my socks. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and go through the test. Um, We've got a paper test, so we didn't bring any paper, but uh, you know what? I'm going to use the extra one here. I think we've got an extra one here. Oops. You fucking got your pencil. <laughs> okay, so basically we got... Yeah, Alright, so basically we got some categories here. We're going to start off with a paper test, just your basic cut right through the paper. Um, we're going to try some slight carving, nothing fancy. I'm not going to whittle a dog or anything, but just to see how it cuts through if I had to use it. Make a basic feather stick. Uh, we're going to attack some of these small trees here and see how it does against chopping. And then we brought these with us just for a little small batoning. And then we're going to take a look at the design, the dexterity, how it feels in our hands. Um, take a look and see what kind of edge damage we did to it. And then finish up with the paper test again. All right, it should be long. All right, let's do it. Paper test. Paper. All right, hope it passes. Ready? Yep. Nice. That was pretty slick. That was pretty, that was pretty, pretty impressive. Yep, pretty good. Cuts are pretty sharp. Nice edge. All right. All right. I'm still not going to get over the stupid... Um, What's that? Design of the... The sheet. Yeah, I'm not going to get over that. All right, I, I went out of order with these. I'm going to go ahead and try and chop something down real quick, something small, um, see how well it does, and then try Oh, to something it. live? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Got that little thing right there? Got one right here behind you. All right, you go. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, go. <laughs> I would bring a machete at this point. Yeah. You know what? I don't know. It's cutting pretty decent. Well, I think you'll be do it in about a couple of days. Oh, yeah. Uh, starting to go. I'm not displeased with this. Do you want to try it for a minute and see how you feel? No, you got it. You got it. Looks like work. I mean, it's... Oh, there it is. You're going to get in trouble for chopping down some nice trees, though. That's right, These tree huggers are going to not like this. It's not even a real tree yet. It's fake. Yeah. It's a CGI tree. I think it ain't. Look at that. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, I guess... You know, I'll be honest with you, it's not a machete, and it's certainly not an axe, um, but it definitely... It uh, looks like it was cutting through it. Yeah, I mean, if I had to use this thing, it definitely would work. You had to work pretty hard to get it? Not really. I mean, it just, you know, my again, the, my biggest concern was whether or not this was going to slip out of my hands. I don't like the slick grip. I mean, it looks pretty, don't get me wrong, yeah. <clears throat> but I'm definitely going to hit that with some 180 when I get home. All right, let's try the... Uh, Next. I'm gonna baton. I wanna see how it works on that. Um, okay. So, what, what are we looking for here? What's it gonna do? Uh, Ideally. Ideally, I'm gonna chop through this. Well, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, that's not bad nice. at all. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, that worked out pretty nice. Yeah, it's not good bad. Good little stickers. How's it, how's it looking? Not bad at all. I don't no see too much damage on it. Uh, it not, you know, I was, honestly, I was worried about the back uh, just to see if anything was going to knock loose. I'm trying to look in the spine here. We're just trying to get an edge. I mean, a nice little uh, point. Yeah, well, I just want right now. I want to try to see if I can uh, how it's going to carve a top, so I can. It's 
really when you're doing a steak like this, if you can feather the top in, kind of chamfer it like you would like some furniture, and doing top like this on it. Yeah. Hold up. And then when you come over, right about the top, kind of clean up, the, clean it up. When you bang on it, it's it's less likely to split on you. I did it on the small end just to see what was going to happen. You know, really, you would want the spike here, but I, I want to try to put a spike on the bigger end and see how it's going to work. I'm pretty impressed, I and mean, it's cutting pretty damn well. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Steve. I see these. I mean, look at that. That's a good point. That's you know. You have a good point. There. I can. Yes, don't I? I can either. Uh, <laughs> I can either pitch a tent or kill a vampire. So. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've seen a lot of these knives. Upwards of two hundred dollars, and this is a thirty dollar knife so far. Thirty. Thirty bucks. I mean, I mean, it's just. Sweet. You know, it's uh. It's holding up. It's holding up pretty good. What do I got left to do? Um. Let's see. Feather stick. Uh, we got basic carving, and which is the uh, thing here. Feather stick. Feather stick. Feather stick. You know what? I'm gonna use this. Go for it, man. What is uh feather stick? Um, basically, what I'm going to do is take this and I'm just going to shave it. Uh, usually when you're carving something, you shave it and it knocks off. The whole idea between a feather stick is to come down like this yeah. and leave the shavings on. So when you start a fire, you can put a stick on here. It's going to have all these curls all over it. And that will burn and then set this on fire and you can make a bigger fire. So, so slick, man. Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, this is an old dried log from your house. Um, nope. It's not that old, though. Just cut it about uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. This is going to this this probably break before it does anything. Yeah, this is work. This is uh, did, it, did it work better for the drier, older, drier wood? Well, I mean, it's so working on this. I just wanted to see something uh, much fresh. bigger. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, it works. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'm not the best at this, so I never profess to be. I just, I know what it is. Tom Hanks do that and uh, cast away. I think he did. Yeah, I think he did. Um, yeah, that's that's the start of it right there. It definitely does a pretty good job. Uh, it was a little hard time getting through this wood, but again, this is the the center of an old tree. I'm sure if I hunted around and we found something more conducive to making a fire stick out of, we wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah. That's it. I w all right. Now, How about throwing it in a tree and see if you can get a stick? Is that, is want, that part of the test? What I need you to do is while you're taking me, <laughs> yep. run away, and I want to see what it looks like when it's coming at the camera. Okay, okay. yeah, I got you. Let's go. Cool. Now, I, I would definitely say that uh, I'm happy with the performance of the knife. I think that, uh, again, the weight's good. It's not an exhausting thing to carry around with you. Um, as far as the dexterity and how this thing maneuvers, I, I just have issue with the slickness of the handle. I don't, I don't, I don't want it to feel like. I constantly felt like it was going to be slipping out of my hand, and I count, kind of counted on this a lot more than I wanted to. I want to be able to hold the knife and do the job, and not count on that hook there to keep it from sliding out. Mm -hmm. the design, it's a, it's a good design. It's a good knife. It's a good solid blade. It's going to definitely perform the task for you. I feel like 
the big issue I have is that they just didn't make it abundantly clear that it was a left-handed sheet. I don't think it would have changed my mind on the purchase. I definitely think it make. I think it's going to make a difference. Yep. Um, I'll find that I'll have to carry this more. Uh, like if I carry it, you know, something like this. Well, that's kind of slick. I like the way you can adjust that. Yeah, that, I mean, that that's pretty neat. I'm, I am a little bit concerned about this thing sticking over time, though, uh, because I definitely feel like as I've owned it more, it's coming apart easier and easier. And I can just see having this thing. It's kind of rough going through the woods. Yeah, you don't have your knife. No. Um, again, it's a, it's another design issue with the sheath I have. Uh, <clears throat> it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be backwards like this. I think if I'm gonna set it, you know, when I pull it out, it's gonna come out. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, other than the the best option I see is on your belt in the back like this. Oh yeah, John um, McLean. Yeah, exactly. But I um I, I'm gonna build and make another sheet. Awesome. All right, How's ready? Anyway. Uh -oh. No, I'm just, I'm shaving little bits, little bits. I don't know if the camera's getting there or not. Let me try it again. I'm trying to get. Yeah, I'm gonna try it this way. There you go. It looks like it's still coming. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely. I'm trying to get that little bit out of it. Can you see me shaving those little bits off? I think, I, I think I'm getting it. Oh, well. Nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good line. All right.